The leader of the Muslim Ahmadiyya community has called for the authorities in the UK to monitor what happens in mosques and madrasas or Islamic religious schools to help counter, counter radicalization. Ahmadiyya Muslims number many millions across the world and are a movement that started in India more than a hundred years ago. However, they're considered apostates by other sects within Islam and have suffered persecution in countries like Pakistan where they're banned. Their annual gathering of more than 30,000 started in the UK on Friday. Our religious affairs Caroline, uh, correspondent Caroline Wyatt spoke to His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Mazra Ahmed and asked him what he believed had led to the radicalization of young people. The Ahmadiyya community built London's first mosque and they're one of the oldest Muslim sects to come to Britain. Their worshippers are scattered across many countries and in some, such as Pakistan, they face persecution as all the other Muslim sects don't believe that they're Muslims at all. Their spiritual leader is Mirza Masra Ahmad, who's based in the UK. I asked him how they viewed radicalization within Islam. You can say that there's a link between radicalization and Muslims. But Islam is a teaching. And the teachings of Islam, it categorically explains that there should not be any extremism. And what do you think is driving that radicalization, that extremism, amongst that small minority of young Muslims? You see, all this started you see, it was actually smoldering for some time. After uh, the Iraq war. And then, you see, there were so many things in the mind of the Muslims. And it was incited by the Muslim clerics that West is causing the trouble <laughs> to, to finish Islam. And so are those young people misunderstanding their faith, but also being taught wrongly? This is why I always say that these madrasas should be monitored. And somebody asked me that it is spying. I say it is not spying. It is the duty of the government to monitor not only their madrasas, to monitor the mosques as well. What do you think that the UK should be doing to stop young people being radicalized. Pledge, pledge of oath to your country. The true teaching of Islam. Parents should also be educated. You see, there are quite a number of mosques here who are you know, um, speaking ill of each other, and especially of the Hamdi community. You see, so th there should be message of love harmony and peace from the mosque. That's the leader of the Muslim Ahmadiyya community speaking to our religious affairs correspondent Caroline Watt. The Met Office